Welcome to Steph React. I am going to react to Roast This Podcast. It is a comedic podcast that will be featuring CP, Billy, and Bilou. But before I begin, I would like to say my sincere condolences to the families and friends affected in Texas at this time. My sincere apologies goes out to you, and the press goes out to the families as well. Let's go. And I know you are wondering why am I re uploading these videos. Like I stated in my previous video that I decided to re upload the video because I didn't want any problem in terms of monetization and everything else. So I decided to talk in the video along as watch it with you guys. So hope that you enjoy. I still will be uploading the newer content. So it will be posted today. So let's go. <laughs> I didn't press them about your verification again, okay? Hey, hey, hey. And we are live! What's up, Cafe Instagram, YouTube, the world? Welcome to Roast This, the podcast that branched off from Roast Me. Well, not really branched off, but we just, you know what I'm saying? We another part of Roast Me. We were just going into the podcast world. This is Roast This. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis, man. I'm not by myself. I'm always with my partners, my players, my comrades, my co-host. To the left of me, maybe to the right of you, my partner from Atlanta, Georgia, man. Real A-Town nigga right there, right there, right there. Front of Jordan. What's up, man? Roast me. It's up, man. We here. We live. We on every platform, man. Tell your auntie. Tell your mama. All the people. Shout out to the Buka Pong Hive. I know they here. The Buka Pong oh, yeah. Hive yeah. is here. Oh, yeah. The Buka Pong. They, not the watch. We stay in here, okay? <laughs> 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 And our other co-host, man, who gonna be buzzing in in a few, all the way from Detroit, Michigan, man. Y'all know who it is, my dog. PC Pizzle, man, he will be joining in in a few, man. But hey, man, I'm glad to be back, dog. I'm glad we back, man. Yeah, hey, man, I'm with it. Oh, 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 my bad, man. I did it so wrong, man. And last but not least, the nigga that seen but never seen, always in between, my nigga Kadeem. Shout out to Kadeem, man, running. D Lou, it is it is an honor to be back. It is an honor to be back with y'all. Uh Roast This was an amazing, amazing podcast, man. I'm so glad we're back. Uh to, to yeah, especially on Caffeine now. Uh uh new platform. But of course, YouTube, Facebook, IG Live can all see this. Uh man. so yeah, yeah. Thank you. Everybody everyone. in this motherfucker, man. Shout yeah. out to everybody doing that. Shout out to Dean, man. He always keeping us on our P's and Q's, man, running everything behind the scenes, man. That's what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But man, before we get lost in transition, lost in transaction, I don't know why I'm rhyming today. But uh, for everybody on caffeine, make sure you share this pod, this this broadcast, not this podcast, but it is this podcast. But share this broadcast. Click the box with an arrow to send a link to your friends, and caffeine is going to pick someone who shares the live broadcast today to give you ten thousand gold. That's right, ten thousand gold will be in your account. So come back tomorrow to see if you've been selected and you'll see the credits in your account. Yeah. Make there sure you, you tell a friend to tell a friend to click and subscribe to Caffeine. Yeah, go ahead. Gotta Get pay them bills. Hey man, we gotta pay them. We gotta pay them bills. Hey, follow Brandon on, on Caffeine, y'all. We got we gotta <laughs> get <laughs> follow <laughs> Brandon on Caffeine. <laughs> I'm really pissed off. I don't know why he brought it up. He knew I was gonna go on the rent. Them <laughs> niggas didn't verify me, man. They verify everybody but me. But you verify you, Brandon. It's in your soul, it's baby. You verify, a check, a check don't make you, Brandon Lewis. You, you the only person who can say, "Come in to the." That's you. You got that. That's you verify. <laughs> you, you already hey, man. verified, man. You verified in the Lord. 
like, I feel like I feel like I should be verified, man. You know what I'm saying? And right now, I feel a little disappointed. But make sure y'all follow my account on Caffeine Big Bang Lewis. You know what I'm saying? You'll see it right there. I don't know if it's at the bottom. Damn, is it at the bottom? What for the share? Yeah, share button's on the bottom. The share button at the bottom. Okay, so, so make sure y'all click the share button at the bottom, man. And uh, yeah. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. We're gonna get this motherfucker wrong. Right, we'll see all the followers, see all the props in the chat, man. They say I got you, B. Lewis, in the chat. I sent you to the uh, detention. They saying that in the chat already, D. Uh, B. Lewis. They already sent you to detention. In fact, man, why y'all send me to detention? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Looking at the chat right <laughs> now, man. They going the crazy. crazy. They going crazy. Shout out to everybody right? in the chat, man. Shout out to the grammar police. The grammar police showing up tonight. You know the grammar yeah. police. Anytime it's words being typed, there's somebody judging them. Yep. And all that being said, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. And all that being said, I mean it's it there's a bit there's a big announcement still left though. It oh, is. oh, 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 oh. There still was oh, one more big oh, announcement. God. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Oh, let, me, let me bring you up big, Lilo, before you do it. Before you do it, Lilo, give me a second. Forget this announcement. They waiting oh, on this. Can I get a drum roll? Can I get a drum roll, Dean? Can I get a <laughs> hold on, Bella? Bella roll, Bella roll, Bella roll, Bella roll, Bella roll. Bella roll. Roast me season five is back. Bah, 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 bah. Do you think that they would come out with a roast me season six? Now that's a wonderful question. Hopefully they do because roast me season five at this point is really good. It's really picking up, and uh, I really enjoy it. So hopefully they continue with it, but we'll see. That's right, man. Roast Me Season 5 is back. And guess what, y'all? It's streaming live from Caffeine. That's right. That's right. Has got Roast Me. It's coming back. Season 5 will be back broadcasting live from Caffeine March 30th. That's right. The end of the month. March 30th. Put that in your calendar. It's a Wednesday. It's going to be the latest Wednesday of the whole entire month. Roast me is coming back live, and it's the classroom. We ain't there doing nothing else. Uh, or sorry, B. Let's say that again, because I always see that comment over and over again. It's about, the classroom. There we you go. Doing, we not doing the heads up no more. We not doing nothing else. We doing the classroom. Y'all been requesting it, so we are bringing it back. The classroom is coming back. It's having the Atlanta roasters, the L.A. roasters, the niggas who think they can roast. Everybody coming back, man. For a fire ass season, it's a lot of people who think they can roast, man. Shout out to, to you, shout out to you, uh, Brandon, because since I've been on roast battlegrounds, everybody and their mama has been coming to me saying the rudest, meanest shit in the world. <laughs> Thank y'all. I really appreciate this platform for giving people the right to walk up to you when you're with your son at the recital <laughs> or something and say something about my titties. I appreciate y'all. This is, I love y'all. This is, I love our people. <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 while, and while we still promoting and plugging and doing all that good shit, if you gonna be there March thirtieth, drop a fire right now, like Kevin Hart said, put flames on them, bitch. Drop the fire. Drop the flames. flames. Run them off. Ring them off. Ring them off. The emojis. If you gonna be there March thirtieth, and all the way to the season ends, it's eight episodes. We got eight episodes starting March thirtieth. Eight episodes. Live. They have eight episodes, and currently. At this time of the video being remake, I believe we are at, we are going on episode five. Yeah, episode five will be today, as of today. Today is, what is today? What is today's date? Let me check real quick. Today's date is the... Hold on, I'm living too good. Today's date is the, my bad, my bad, my bad, I gotta check it. The 25th of May. So that means we have three more episodes after today, which is the 25th of May. So the question is, who do you think is going to be the MVP of season five. As of right now, I would say it's between Craig and Brent. Ah, speaking so of which, just in time, just in time. Uh -oh. Just in time. Uh -oh. Uh oh, it is I. It is I. It is I. The tickler. It is I. 
Hey, you got a real, you got a nice little background there, man. You, it looked real yeah, saucy man. where you at, man. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I'm at the Adams family house. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, CT is in the building. <laughs> See, he is here, man. Hey, hold, 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 hold up, dog. I gotta bring, I gotta bring you in, man. I, I gotta introduce you because you know what I'm saying it's only right since we on roast this. You know what I'm saying I gotta introduce my dog all the way. My shit from Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> oh, MVP, y'all give it up for Chris CP Pie. <laughs> What up, though? They said you live from the uh, hotel room, uh, hotel in The Shining, is what they said right now. Hey, no, <laughs> tell them fuck that. I already said Adam's family is over. It's over. Anyway. What are you going to do after that? That's true. What's up, niggas? Hey, man, ain't nothing to do. Hey, but while we at it, man, while we got everybody in here, man, make sure y'all follow us on Caffeine, on Instagram, on Facebook, on all that good shit. All that in between. Mine's is Big Bang Lewis. Ronnie Jordan's at Ronnie Jordan. CP's is at Comedian CP. Follow us right now while you're watching us live on Caffeine. Follow us while you're watching us on Instagram. Follow us while you're watching us wherever you at. Just got to plug that, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got to plug that. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm not cross-eyed, man. I just keep looking at myself. You know how you just like, you know what I'm saying? I got a confession. I'll be looking right. at Well, I talk. am. I have an idea. I'll be looking at me like a time. motherfucker. Like, there I go. You know what I'm saying? I'm live. I'll be, I'll be wanting to watch the show, too. I got an eye that when I'm reading the other, I'll be over here like this. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Ronnie? <laughs> hey, man, we finally man, see you, my dog. Y'all, y'all don't hey, understand. Yeah, I know these. Man. I know these two dudes in real life. Like, I know these two dudes. Yeah. We, me and yeah, CP, man. find them it's every time we get in the comedy club. We find we just go in the back and just talk shit in the back, <laughs> away from the. Yeah, where's all this smoke coming from? There's a trail of wings. There's, there's a trail of wing bones. <laughs> leading, <laughs> leading back, French wing, fry wing fragments. Kush. Leading back to the back room. <laughs> We yeah. back there, high as fuck, blessed as fuck. Cushion cuss, cush cuss words, my boy. Cushion cuss hey, words. Man. Hey man, uh, shout out no. to everybody who bought this hat. Oh, this hat, right. this hat, right. goddamn, right. got my babies Best all the part. little Nikes and stuff this summer and during the pandemic. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so look, what's crazy is, see, like <laughs> nigga, this nigga Ronnie popped up and got legendary when we were still kids. So now we all the same age, but this nigga OG. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga did Comic View in 1973. You know what I'm saying? You know, and this nigga had classic bits. That's fat nigga at the dough. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey appreciate uh, y'all. We used to be saying that, yeah, nigga, when we was wait, 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 Hold a, on. I, Ronnie, was that you? Yeah, yeah, that was on that was on HBO yeah, on Bad Boys wow. and Comedy. Man. Yeah, that was on HBO. That was in Brooklyn. Ronnie, Brooklyn. I watched Brooklyn, that as a York. kid, dog. I'm sorry. I, I know we got to get back to the show. I was a Ronnie, kid I, when I did the shit. I watched. I watched. Yeah, I was right. like 12, 11 years old on demand. He used to go back yeah, and watch that was, comedy special was, all the time. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Bad Boys and Comedy, man. Uh, nigga, I had a. I went to. You know, I do a lot of colleges. So this Sigma dude walked up to me. He was like, "Dog, hey, he here." And then all the Sigmas was like, "This is like, hey, he here." I said, "What?" He said, "Hey man, brother, such and such. Every time when they, you know, they go down the line, he had to be, he had to do the fat nigga at the door. That was his, that was his call. He had to do that yeah. shit while they was pledging, dog. Them niggas, it was like twenty niggas over there. I was like, okay, that's, that's cool. Crazy, you know what I'm saying? So wow. appreciate y'all, man. That's the YouTube era. That's somebody putting that clip on YouTube and it went crazy yeah. before I yeah. even knew what the hell happened. You know, so yeah. Hey, but y'all. speaking of YouTube, real quick, real quick. Speaking of YouTube, man. We will be cutting the YouTube stream. We're about to cut the YouTube stream. So if you're watching us right now from YouTube, make sure you pull your phone out, your computer, or wherever you got, and download Caffeine and continue to watch the episode and the episodes moving forward. So if you're on YouTube right now, download Caffeine. Go to it for free. There's no charge. Free no of charge. charge. Come it's on just now. like YouTube. Free of charge. Amen. So go over to Caffeine, download it, and continue to watch us and watch us furthermore. And you got to you gotta have Caffeine to watch uh, Roast Me. Yeah, anyway, 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 anyway. anyway. And, nigga, I feel so happy to be back, man. Looking at my nigga B Lou with a bullshit background, you know what I'm saying? Hey, one of them, one of them, one of them three in the pack do rags, and one of them federal prisons. Oh, this, no this, right? this nigga is back. This nigga is back. You got one of those sweatshirts. Well, your mama told me that your report card was a little rough this semester. You want to talk about it or what? <laughs> I must tell you that sleepy
he came in, he came back in episode three of Roast Me season five. And it's really been an awesome, I think if he had came back sooner, it would have been between him, Craig, and Brent to be MVP, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. <laughs> you want to talk about it or what? <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me. Because the report card wasn't hitting right. Like, what the fuck up. <laughs> You're a man. Ain't you call yourself a man, don't you? Hey, what man. You want to end up in here? You want to end up in here? Keep, 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 keep getting them C's. Like, you, don't, you, don't put the, you don't put the daddy in jail, CP. <laughs> Yeah. That's what we look like. He's talking to his kid. You want to end up in here? <laughs> hey, keep skipping your nap and day care. Do right, man. It's a yeah. beating, man. You do hey, like man. a scare straight. You like a dude visit schools and shit. Like, hey, look. Man, it's a beating, yeah. man. They got to do scare know, straight hey, on bro, Zoom. Hey, he do... it's, just two, it's just a cap, nigga. Ain't no graphics on your shit. The niggas can't tell what it is with them ridges. I don't hey, see no man, ridges. Nigga, it, that, is a, that is a bonnet, nigga. That's like you like do, it, like you do that scare that straight. Hey, he do scare straight to kids on Zoom and shit. Get, get close to the phone. <laughs> we say, y'all. <laughs> you, are, you are a gang, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bit of frozen french fry. You ever yes, been a uh, brother French fry? It was in the middle of all the dumb ones, and I thought it was they was I was gonna cut straight through. That motherfucker came from the Arctic. <laughs> we ran out of mass today. You know how scary that shit is. <laughs> hey, y'all niggas oh, ain't hey, gonna tag jokes on me. Hey, yeah, we ain't gonna tag. Hey, shout out to Ronnie and that goddamn right eye. That bitch don't trust <laughs> shit. Do it. It don't. It don't. Like, like, See, nigga, it's hey, wait, it's the it's the nigga over there. Hold on, it's hey, a- <laughs> the it's the nigga right here. CP is really good at telling jokes, so on the fly. Dude, I got my eye on because see this nigga right here. Oh no, no, everybody, please wait for a second. My right, right eye, my, my right eye, washing the washing and dry. Just yeah, your me. right eye playing pool, nigga, in that corner pocket. Like yeah, wait, give me one more second. Give me one. Give me. Give me, give me one. More <laughs> CP oh, over there look like I'm making I'm making the band hey. audition and shit. Oh my god! Boy. I, didn't even know, oh, I, didn't know. I never knew that was Ryan. I never knew Ryan. I was messed up. But, uh, man, my eye do like that when I'm tired sometimes. And goddamn it, nigga. I feel like it's regular when he not doing comedy. That eye don't want to be in the business. That eye like, look, bro. I said I been said I quit. Mm-hmm. I quit when the one shit didn't work. I said, you know what? Hey, oh. I feel like I- like I. <laughs> Need to go solo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, 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 hey, goddamn it. Look, man. Shit. It is what it we is. Need, we need to shoot your shit multi cam and put one right here, one right here. And that way it's just like. I'm going to ask you to chill. I'm going gonna, gonna to just kind of do profile. I'm going to do like a penny. And then. <laughs> Do penny look away, nigga. Anyway. Hey man, why y'all at it, man? Why y'all still watching? You know I always gotta do the shouts out, man. Follow us right now, caffeine. We're just new to the channel. We new to the app. Big Bang Lewis is mine. At comedian CP is CP's at Ronnie Jordan is at Ronnie Jordan. So right now, follow us right now. As you're watching, scroll over there, slide over there, and follow us, man. Run them numbers up, man. Y'all had a roast me season five predictions. Do y'all have any season five predictions? Season five, man. First of all. Craig is going to win MVP along with a runner-up, Brent and CP. That's my prediction. Our season five, man. We need. I need. I need at least one or two episodes of CP. I know. I know my dog busy, man. Congrats on. Uh, congratulations on all your new endeavors, man. I know man, my dog is busy. Like why are you doing me like this? Why, I need at least why, one. Why, why? Why I can't just show up when I was gonna show up, nah, dog? Man, why you gotta sure do me like need, this? Man? For sure, I need two episodes out you, man. For sure. He's like Kobe when he came back to the record. Like I, 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 pull, I might, I might pull I up on you. I need two episodes, dog, because I, I gotta, I gotta put. I got to get the fans what they want. The fans want this dream episode, okay? This is the dream episode. CP, Craig, K-Dub, Boo Capone, uh, Miss Jen, uh, am I missing somebody else? Oh, Doughboy, Billy. Brent. You're missing Brent. You're missing Kev on stage. You're missing Tahir Moore. And you're missing Don Terrio. Ooh. That's seven right there. And uh I'm and I'm missing somebody else. Uh shit, that's really it though. That's a dream episode. 
Tell me if I'm okay. lying. If I'm lying, look, tell me if I'm lying. Look, 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 hold on, 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 Oh, well then look, the only only niggas I'm roasting is Don Terrio and K Dub. Everybody <laughs> else is like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time. Yeah. I don't have time. I'm I'm gonna tell you what I got for niggas. I got rebuttals that'll fuck you up that I will cook up right there on the spot off of what you said, turn your shit into a joke for me, nigga. My meme, my joke is funny. I'm taking it right there and giving it to your ass again. A drooke, some new shit. Plus, nigga, the niggas who the niggas who I want to see, bro. I, man, look, dog. This one niggas been wanting, huh? In the uh, exactly. class. Can, can I tell you what I've been wanting? Can I tell you what I want? Listen, it's one, it's one name y'all forgetting. It's one like, name y'all forgetting. It's one name Ooh. y'all forgetting Black Ron because he told all y'all niggas up at Billy Roast in real life. Yeah, but this ain't that, though. But I'm, this ain't saying, that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We bring Ron in there, too. I'm just saying. There too at Billy's roast in real life. Black Rock coming there too. Black hey, Ron did the whole cast to roast me like that. Rah, rah, rah. And I saw it with this this eye right. But it was but it was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, 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 I distinctly remember it giving X Y Z of niggas some work. No, you I, no, you got all down. Weekend. You you Not gave it stage all weekend. You at the Breakfast Club, we, 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 you we, went we, crazy. We, we, like we, you went crazy at the roast. I'm just saying, Black Ron name don't get mentioned. And I saw that man get down. Oh, please, mention Black get, Ron. Shout out to my brother, Black, Black Ron. Ron. Black Ron brother. should be you mentioned, man. man. I'm gonna I'm gonna always speak yeah, up for man. the players that should be. Oh, yeah, you know, if favorites is favorites, but it's some it's some skilled players out there. You know what I'm saying? You know what it sound like? It sound like you it sound like you were saying we was running from uh, Rose with yeah, Black, like we Ron. From Black Ron. Hey, Black, Black Ron did right? confirm. You know by the way, I did talk to Black Ron today. He did confirm to come on uh, season five, but but he won't be on until some of the later episodes. But uh, yeah, Black we gonna have Black Ron. Hey man, hey man, any nigga. Who swear they fire? I call them out and make sure I had them this season. Every nigga, even the niggas that ducked me last season, I want to put them in a tank full of sharks so they can get their ass ate. I want to put them in a tank full of sharks. I like how you said that, nigga. Put that on the mixtape. I want to put them in a tank full of sharks. <laughs> You said that shit like it's a hey, game show. How y'all I, I handle when they come show. up? Look at the roast niggas. And I want to put them in a tank full of sharks. Do they roast hey. y'all in person? Do people just walk up and <laughs> roast y'all? Oh, nigga, not yeah, me. They're going to do that. Hey, when, uh, maybe every now and then, but it be uh, I don't know. I, I remember uh, this nigga had to roast me in Chicago. Man, uh, I was like, man, look, nigga, y'all niggas better not kill me because I'm about to build this shit. Out this <laughs> <laughs> you niggas better not kill me. <laughs> hey, don't kill me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> man, got to get it, but I don't want no smoke. Hey, look. <laughs> but, um, oh yeah. man. Yeah, they, don't roast, they don't roast me. I, I usually start roasting before because they always say, Hey, B. Lou, or they say, Hey, man, you. And I say, Buff, don't get your goddamn. I started off. Yeah, you should. I think, you know, I think you got to let niggas know how you stand on some shit because some niggas think it's sweet. Some niggas think it's sweet. And a lot of times, I like in a comedy club or in the back of the club with a lot of people roast, I don't roast because niggas steal your roast and use it on stage. Y'all know this. Y'all know this is factual. Niggas are. Take your roast you said to them and try to put it in their bit. You like, hey, go ahead, go ahead and go ahead and call me by name because you know that's what I do. I, I roast niggas with a whole world. Nigga, ooh, that, that could go in your set. Like, nigga, don't tell me what the fuck could go in my set. <laughs> nigga, let me yeah. fuck on. Go in your set. No, niggas will take yeah. that, what you ooh. said, and make it they what say. You like, what they say, what they say, what they say. Ooh, nigga. <laughs> that's you how you good, you roast niggas. Put that in your set. Like, nigga, get the fuck out of my face, nigga. Like, put that in your set, nigga. You don't you should never lie, right? CB got some big eyes, though, man. Oh man, dude, <laughs> that's he's like you should fight back. He's killing you right now. You got to fight back. He's tearing your ass up. I just can't wait, man. Like I said, I'm only be on, I'm you know, I'm gonna try to be on there as much as I can, but I can't even lie to you. Sure. Things have changed, guys. You know, like you know what I mean. It's, it's a work, different room man. now. You're in different rooms now, baby. Yeah, man. And I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? I'm excited because I know that my brothers is is about to experience the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it, it, I'm gonna tell you what it's like. It's like losing your virginity, and then you just come back and tell your boys, like, man, it's great. I bet y'all can't wait till y'all. I know y'all gonna do it one day because that's what we here for. Like, nigga, y'all niggas are stars. So when you know, put it like this. 
we all like popcorn seeds. You know what I'm saying? We all just in the pot, and then we be talking, and pop, and then a nigga pop, and he gone. You know what I'm saying? And that's like, that's what it is. And when you look at it like that, it's like, bro, you understand that everybody got their time. And I'm just excited for y'all, man. Like, you know, it's like, bro, it's it's about to be lit, man. Especially when I know that I'm finna be writing shit and reaching back, making sure I, not, you know, whatever, man. I, whatever. It's hey, lit. Man, pop your shit, man. Hey, man. Hold on, hold on. Come on, Black Key. Drop some flames for CP, man. What's up? You did well. They, they want they want to see us talk shit to, about each other, but like when you talk about the good shit, they gotta they gotta salute that. Yeah, man. You know no, bro. No, but no, you know what? Though no, they're part of this, man. Like what? Like bro, yeah, they're the ones. They're they're like the ones. from 2020 when we was going through the worst times, bro. Like we was having like some of the best hours of the week. You understand, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we made a bond with our fans, and, you know, our fans kept us in conversations, and those conversations led to people taking a second and third look at us, and that's why we, where we at right now, even with all the stuff that we got going on. Shout out to Cedric. Shout out to All Def. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying? Like, we really put in the work. Like, I don't think y'all understand. Like, I can't go nowhere. They bringing me on stage. They saying, y'all seen them on Love Life. Y'all seen them on Roast Me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like this oh, is yeah, shout out to man. Shout out to Love Life on HBO Max. Oh yeah, thank you. But you know what I'm saying? Like they they bringing me up on this with the same credit. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's you know, people are paying attention and you know, and it, and this is some positive cool shit that we do. You know, hey, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to uh see what see what this new season's holding, man. That's a, some good <laughs> Yeah, Yo, somebody called you a Snorlax. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's right. Oh, man. What's a Snorlax? What's that? It's a Pokemon, yeah, dog. Oh, that's oh, 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 bro. I didn't even try to be funny, dog. I cannot believe he don't know what a Snorlax is. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but it's like a little bit like... A Pokemon. Man, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up. Don't worry about it. I got it. I'm going to pull it up. Hey. Hey. Oh, I got y'all. Don't even keep talking. I got y'all. I'm going to pull it up. Hey. Hold, hold up. Hold up. I don't know what he called. Hey. Hold up, Lou, Before you say that, can we have topics? Let's yeah, we, do got some, that. we got that. We got all that. Yeah, let's do some topics. Yeah, we got all, we got oh, all, yeah, all that. that. You know, yeah. Hold on. You, you, yeah, you have been around here before. Before, before we get what's to up? the topics, huh? He said, see, see, we ain't done this before, CP. You know, yeah, you know yeah, what's yeah, up? I know, nigga, hey, nigga was hey I was hey, just, hey, what you know how, like, when you were on Sesame Street, they'd be like, you guys want to do letters? It's like, nigga, this is how you do it sometimes. Nigga, that's how I try to kick it to you. You guys want to do letters? Nigga, we grown as hell. We know all our letters. But we just, you want to do letters? All right, just just so everyone's fair, everyone's clear. This is Snorlax. That's Snorlax. That's what they say. That is funny. I'm getting a tattoo. I'm getting a tattoo. Just, just so we're all on the same page. That's that what they just great. Call it. That's a Pokemon thing? That's wow. a Pokemon. Wow. What a, a virgin. Pokemon. Shout out to the virgin yeah. that said that. One time. <laughs> you know who you know what a Snorlax is, man. Time for you. <laughs> Hopefully you see hey. the vagina soon. Real quick, man, let's pay some deals once again, real quick, man. For everybody watching right now on Caffeine, make sure to share this broadcast. That's right. Share this podcast that is in right now. Share this broadcast. Click the box with the arrow to send the link to your friends, and Caffeine is going to pick someone who shares this live broadcast today to give them 10,000 gold. I think that's points. Is that is that points or something, something like that? 10,000 gold is what you receive. Yep. If you share this broadcast. So come back tomorrow to see if you've been selected and the credits will be in your account. That's right. Share this podcast right now to a friend and you could be the lucky person to have 10,000 gold in your account when you log back in tomorrow. So you got to wait a full 24 hours before it's in your account. And while you're doing that, make sure you follow each and every person on this podcast. Mine's is Big Bang Lewis, Comedian CP, and at Ronnie Jordan. Follow us on Caffeine, Instagram, and every platform available now let's get it Dean. okay hold on going to put y'all put your lower thirds up there for a quick second and we're gonna go ahead and move on to, to the topics yes sarsky to the topic. Background. Yeah. Sarsky. hey yes. to the live sarsky. yeah all right. just a little live man y'all know y'all need to be watching roast this uh-oh first first one up first lebron one up. and later ways that's not that's not lebron <laughs> no. okay that's Gucci Mane and NBA Young Boy and the uh and the beef, the diss tracks back and forth. Yeah, I, I heard what's going on between these two. <laughs> no, what's going on with you? Why they beefing? They beefing because uh a quick breakdown for dot 
diss track. I wouldn't even call it a diss track by Gucci Mane. That song he made. That was fire. The beat and the flow that he can, he come up with. Man. Gucci Mane is still... He's still... CT got for CT. Yeah. NBA Young Boy dropped the track. I forgot the name of the track, but he dropped the track basically dissing everybody in the industry. Not really everybody, but kind of most of the... Not gonna lie, Gucci got the widest teeth in the game. Nobody can tell me that. Top dogs besides like everybody. He did say everybody. Yeah, he, he basically did this everybody. And uh, prior to this, he was a fan of Gucci because he said he felt like Gucci man in 2006. Yep. So then Gucci came back with a diss record that was hard as a motherfucker. He it's brought really back Gucci a 06 yeah. in my opinion. Honest, I, no, honestly, I'll leave it at it's number one on the, on, on the charts right now. It is top it actually is. NBA Young Boys. Uh, like his his reign, how he has the reign on YouTube and all this stuff. Yeah. Apparently, NBA, I mean, Gucci Mane's us has taken that number one spot from him. How bad okay. is this? I gotta hear it. Yeah. I gotta Gucci. hear both, dog. Oh, that's, oh, that's He's Gucci, still Gucci. Oh, that's a motherfucker, boy. And he dropped the video. And Gucci dropped the video. Yeah. That shit hard, man. You think yep. Gucci ain't have like a standby Lamborghini and short set ready for this kind of shit? Oh, He's shit like, dog, I got a short. I got the short set for this. Yep. Hey, right. boy, he Gucci was waiting. He been lifting hard, weights man. and drinking uh green juices and weight. Fact, but that, that Gucci record was so hard, man. I got yeah. it. Oh, man, that Gucci record was so that nigga hard. Gucci been in the house watching Elmo. That nigga can't wait to get on the nigga head. <laughs> he, he watch, all he do is watch Buka Pong videos. He just watch Roast Me all day. <laughs> yeah, he was was publicity stunt. Brandon is finna slap somebody at the PTA meeting right now. He, he is... Gucci always makes hard stuff. He got the best Christmas hard, song ever made. It, that Gucci it, was so hard. If a young boy is on house arrest in Utah right now, he's pretty much pissed off. Mm -hmm. he can't, yeah, he, I'd be mad for that off top. He'd be he just in that mad like he just like I'm gonna fuck all these niggas having fun on their boats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This nigga dissed the Uber Eats driver last night. They they don't put that out though. Don't put the door dash. <laughs> don't put the door dash diss out. <laughs> yep. Well, that shit was hard, but Gucci hard. I feel like Gucci. I feel like I feel like it's one of Gucci because uh, Gucci was very direct. Good. Hey man, if y'all didn't see who Gucci was in that Jeezy versus, y'all need to just re-go hey, watch that he, again. He honestly, he kept taking shots. I was like, this is getting real hostile in here, real he quick. Was, and, was, too. and he was looking like he was like standing like I, he looked like I could jump over there. He was like letting you know. Yeah. I've been doing push-ups for four years to do this. Okay. I'm right. I will jump over there right now. Like he Gucci Man is dying to use his Black Panther powers on somebody. Yo. If they do a triple fight with NBA Young Boy and Gucci, we're gonna see. The, the right, first... what, hey, what was what was Gucci say he was smoking now? He was smoking on that uh smoking on that Pookie and Low. <laughs> man, and, and Pookie Low's son replied like the next day. He like, hey man, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that low pack. That chat, it is, low it pack, is getting too disrespectful. Yeah, you watching the verses, and then these niggas start smoking your pops. Now, wait a minute, leave me alone, man. <laughs> and then they can say, Look at my opponent. My outfit cost $10,000. I was like, Okay. And because that nigga did come out there, like, <laughs> put my old shit on. Like, nigga, don't put that. He has I, some leather shorts on and a jersey and a coat. <laughs> Hey, song wise, but song wise, Jeezy won though. Jeezy won that. Uh, Jeezy won that. None of, none of Gucci Man music was mixed. It sounded like he played that thing. He sounded like he played his office phone with the mic to it. <laughs> Nigga, Gucci won that night. No, no, Gucci. no. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci won on the antics and like the energy, but Jeezy won on the songs. But what, what was so funny? Gucci know he was. Gucci knew he was losing, so he said, "Man, stop playing all that old shit." <laughs> yeah, hey, but the funny part they had Stacey Abrams open it up, and she was like, "Hey, Georgia, go vote." Oh, wow. Gucci was like, "Man, fuck all that." <laughs> <laughs> he said that. He like, let's get it going. He was like, let's she was like, going, my, my nephew's gonna think I'm cool. He was like, "All right, man, come on, let's <laughs> like, get this on, going, to the side." Yeah, and then everybody tagged me on Stacey Abrams pictures. Like, I man. <laughs> <laughs> If you have Drake versus Kendrick Lamar, hit for hit, hit for hit. People may say Kendrick my lowest hit for hit wise, but I think Kendrick has some good music that will go up against Drake. I think that would be pretty close, you know. I would like that. I would like that. Or even Trey Songs versus 
Chris Brown. That would be good. Or who else? Or Kelly versus Usher or something like that. But that would be good though. Well, you niggas can, always sound like Stacey Abrams. Hey, oh, hey, hey, this is another dream. Hey, this is another dream episode. We need Ronnie Jordan and Doughboy in the same episode. Too. Oh, that'll be hilarious. God this damn it. Hey, why you trying to put them niggas together? Just because they both can't, like, they, they, they both big. Well, they he, both he, big. He's, he's, he's losing weight, ain't he? Duh. Yeah, both y'all niggas losing weight. And it's trying to drink all the water in front of everybody. Nigga, it's, it's nighttime. That shit should be way lower than that. What kind of sun on that? Nigga got that full ass water on the on the pocket. That's right. Just gotta do my thing. <laughs> I try to do that. That's my trick. Like Beyonce, drink one of these a day. This is how you lose your neck. That's my trick. When I when the water boys is outside the Atlanta, you know they was they were gangsters. They were like, you want to buy some water, big boy? And I drink the water. They be like, but what? But show the Pepsi you got in your car, big ass boy. I was like, <laughs> you right? You cool? You you good? Hey. Hey, CP, what do you do? Hey, what do you do? What do you do? I'm on the water. I drink the water. <laughs> no calories. <laughs> Brandon going to ad-lib like the Migos. What he did? <laughs> what he, but what he did, bitch? Do it again. Hey, but what he did, though? Man, I Negative it. calories. Bitch, this uh, even for real. And I'm full. Uh, I'm kind of full off of this. This is my second one. Like, for real, no cap. Yeah. Like literally, no count at all. Yeah. Hey, hey man, that's funny. Man. Hey, speaking, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of no cap, though. Speaking of no cap, all right. Game coming out and saying Kanye did more for him in two weeks than Dre did for his whole life. I get, I got the clip. I got the clip so y'all can got hear the clip, it to you verify. Got the I got the whole okay, clip. Y'all gotta hear the. That's a publicity stunt, though. The whole right, thing to hear. Yeah, y'all gotta hear. Let's see. Let's, see, let's, let's see. go. I'm gonna give the, I'm gonna get a motivate. You know, it's like I get this motivation to yay, because that nigga is my, he my Dre right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. That, answered that very fast. It's crazy that yay did more for me in the last two weeks than Dre did for me my whole career. And it's not. It's it's just it's what it is. And so that nigga got me inspired. And yay gonna tell you, nigga, you got me inspired. Nigga, I watched yay yesterday tell Elon Musk like, game the one that got me inspired, nigga. This is Elon Musk. He's making the shit electric. Uh, thoughts? Thoughts? Okay, here go my thoughts, man. Hold on, here go my thoughts. I watched the interview. First of all, the game was wasted. He was uh, he was two bottles. Oh no, no, no. He was he was for sure gone. Yeah, he was he was two bottles in for sure. But you, you said well, you drink when you're drunk. We, uh, it's drink champs. That's what it is. Yeah, it is drink champs. But but at the same time, like Shannon Sharp said. You always get the truth from three people when you're angry, when you're drunk, or a know, child, yeah, or a I'm child. The child it was a child. It was the last behind the scenes. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know what Dre did, but we know standing next to Dre. Him. We know what standing next to Dre does for a West Coast artist, but we don't know for sure the moves Dre did behind the scenes. Kanye might have really broke bread. Like he seemed like he. Hey man, you need like forty million or something. He's like, yes, I do, Kanye. You know, <laughs> yes. and he seemed like you know how when you trying to make your ex man and you just pop your shit like my, my new bae just do whatever. You know what I'm saying? You trying to pop it like he never did nothing. Okay, dog, come on, man, come on. <laughs> trying to make Dre jealous. Come on, dog. <laughs> I mean, Dre got a nigga a platinum album though, bro. So I, actually, double platinum was a double platinum. I think was. Yeah, it? we know you because of Dre. We that's how we oh. know you, Ace. <laughs> you had a cla- you had classics. Hey, what are you talking in- about? Huh? We know for a fact that Dre fucked with you before Kanye fucked with you. We don't know if Kanye would fuck with you if Dre never fucked with you. See, I'm like that, because it's easy to be the new friend. You- <laughs> <laughs> we we don't know how we don't know how broke game was acting in that studio. He probably was fucking up a lot of bitches for everybody. He was saying, "Are we gonna record, man?" <laughs> like, dude, ch- ch- hey, just chill. Yeah. Dre takes seventy two yeah. days to pick up song. <laughs> we still waiting on detox. I agree man. with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Dre side and call bullshit. So I'm a, I feel like the, I feel like the game was just emotional. And drunk, and, and and he was seeking attention at that just for shock value. Dang I thought that was shock value comment to get Dre to come back to fuck with me. 
because he he missed Dre on some like here like you know it's like you know like you just said like a nigga trying to get his bitch back or trying to make somebody jealous. He just say, "Oh, this nigga be more for me than my relationship of eighty years." Like nigga, I ow. think the game is algorithm candy. Like he know what to say to get everybody riled up and like it's it's like uh Amaretto saying that stuff is not Atlanta. Like every nigga mad. Uh, 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 uh. Like nigga, okay. Hold on, I want to talk about that, but hold on though. <laughs> I agree with what both of y'all saying because the game also said he's better than Eminem. Yes, in that same in that same interview. And it's like, bro, uh, it just I just feel like he's trying to, you know, he's doing this. The game is not on M's level. Nope. No. This thing, like he no said, he wrote "What Up, Gangster" for fifty. Like nigga, come on, hmm? I can see that though. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, don't, I think that shit was done before he met Fifty Cent. That first album had to be. 50 I mean, but look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Here, here goes a game changer. Uh, I, I, I feel like the game is better than Eminem. Yeah. What? Bruh, all them hits Eminem have. <laughs> No, we still, I still could listen to his music. I, I don't listen to Eminem. I feel, like, I feel like the game is better than Eminem. Oh, man. I can't believe it. His, his, his hey, music is better, guys. that's for sure. His music hey, is better. He's hey, guys. Hey, Eminem guys. was the great, one of the greatest. Oh, here we got Detroit, time. though. We got Detroit. Hey, oh, yeah, man. Yo, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. He's about to go eight miles. He's about to go eight miles. <laughs> <laughs> he about to protect B-Rabbit. <laughs> First of all, Jay Z won't even get on the song with Game to kill him on a song. Yep, he will not. Eminem, arguably, wrap circles around holes. That's a fact, though. That's a fact on what song? Renegade. On Renegade. What are you talking about? What are you? What's all? What's all that? Motion in your neck, nigga. What's all that? <laughs> What's all that, nigga? Look, the renegade. See, I'm a, I'm a regular modern day Shakespeare. Jesus Christ, the king of these latter day saints here. The shattered a picture of which of that is they paint me as a model of hate, Satan, the scatterbrained atheist. But that ain't the case. See, it's a matter of taste. We as the people decide if Shady's as bad as they say. Come on, man. Don't even make me go down to or is he the ladder, the gateway to so, escape, meeting escape go that they could be mad at today. Come on, I, I, I don't want to do this. I, don't do I love this. CP ready, CP, CP know what it is. I don't think anyone with their right mind would say that the game is better than M. No. Tom, but like, how much Eminem do you listen to per week? Right. At least seventeen hours. Holy! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! See that's that bullshit, dog. Nigga, do you know? Do you know? Are you, are you lying in my car with me? You riding in my car with me? I think I am. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's about to get racial. Uh, I feel like Eminem. <laughs> I feel like Eminem is the white Jay Z, bro. I just feel like he the white Jay Z to white people. I feel like Eminem is white people's Jay Z. Okay. He, like put the, he put the words together good, but it be it's a little more than that for me. That's all. You know, he dope, but he ain't fucking with Andre 3000 to me. Nobody man, is. Fuck, man, Nobody's man, fucking with him to me. Eminem ain't fucking with God, it's, a, it's, a, it's a preference of uh, taste. Me, man. I can't relate to Eminem. I can't relate to Kid. Kid. No, I love... I, man, his stuff... Well, he first, got his first album, he killed his whole family. I ain't without that weird shit. No, was it was, that first album was one of the best. Come on, man. That shit was hard, though. He can rap. Now, don't get me wrong. The nigga can rap. He can rap, but... He be on some weird shit. True. He can rap, he, I fuck yeah. with. I fuck with. I fuck with. At this point, I wanna know. I wanna know what B. Lewis top five in the rap game is because if he say that the that the game is better than M, something gotta be wrong, yeah. So I don't know who he listen to. His catalog. He's a. He so, can rap. So I got a question for both y'all. Then I guess you can move on to the next subject. Uh, Super Bowl, right? Super Bowl halftime. Obviously, it was Dre. It was uh, it was Eminem, Snoop, Kendrick. What do you think was the Super Bowl? Oh my goodness, that was the best halftime performance in 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 the last and forever. Like, come on, that was good. I know it was better than the the previous one that Maroon Five did. So I really, really think it's really up there in history. Bigger shot though that Ice Cube wasn't up there or that game wasn't up there. Ice Cube, for Ice, sure. Cube. Ice Cube, Ice Cube, Ice Cube. 
Cuba could have been okay. a gangster rap damn near. I, I, I felt like that too. I was like, it's kind of crazy not seeing Cube up here. Yeah, Cube. Yeah. yeah. Cube is the guy. He wrote Easy E stuff. Yeah, you know what that's, what, that's, that's what they get for dissing Dre way back in the day. It's like, Dre, we're about to sit like, ah. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe that one time you dissed me? Yeah, bitch. Sit back, watch it on TV. No Vaseline, my boy. <laughs> he just takes him no Vaseline. Like, you said it. Yeah. Can't unhear it. And, uh, Ice Cube, Ice Cube for sure should have been. Ice Cube should have had a song for sure. He should have been. I don't, uh, Mary J. Mary J. Really did no justice. I don't. I don't know why they had Mary J. I get it for the women. I get, why I they had Mary J. J. Boy, I mean, but Mary J. Really added no value to the West Coast. She's from New York, nigga. Nigga, yeah, she added some. You got to I'm gonna say like, you ain't the boots. You didn't. You didn't fuck with the boots. She was fine. Mary J. Come on, man. Yeah. Now, Mary, Mary J. J. Pressure out here. She pressure. She fine. She oh, no, she hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She ain't breath, nigga. She is. She's for, her, equal. for her age group? Okay, oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Look, check this out, check this out. What y'all rate Mary J? One through ten. What you rate Mary J? I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing that. that. We're not going to do that talk. Not in not, 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 not not Women's Month. Not Women's History it. Month. I ain't going to rate Monet. Nigga, Monet, get your ass Monet, pull up, nigga. You trying to get us to talk? You trying to get us to talk shit about the game uh, and Mary J? It's International Women's Day. B. Lou, International Women's Day. International Women's Day. So what you rate? What you rate, Mary J? I give Mary J. Hey, I give Mary J. Don't do it. Don't do it. All of it. Ray had the most. The most of it all. All of it. KC, look, KC and JoJo. KC and JoJo, Mary J. I give her a nine. Today's Mary J. I give a, a a middle. It's a mid eight. It's like a mid eight. It ain't a so, high eight. It ain't a shout out to the eight. chat. They saying a, they saying a thirty. They giving a thirty in the chat. I just saw someone put a prop up like, there for a, th- a whole thirty. A whole thirty. Like, thirty, man. Mary yeah. J's pressure, bro. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I don't live no way. I look, I look, I see me, see me, I see me. I, I, when I'm in charge of, when I'm in charge of. <laughs> the, the I was in charge of the remote. I'm not in charge of the remote anymore. <laughs> That's a big responsibility. Oh. It was a, uh, it was, it, and you know what? And, and I remember when they bought the new remote in, it was the Xfinity remote. They bought the new Xfinity remote in there. It was all for me. But I had to learn how to program it because uh, the TV was a Sanyo. I had to program what they do with it. What they do with a smart TV? Did y'all got y'all got any apps on the TV? Y'all watch Netflix, Narco, anything? No, no, we didn't watch nothing. You know, the young boy got I, they jumped on me. So I don't know who got what. I don't know. <laughs> what they, got. they jumped on me. They jumped. The mama got jumped on me. Hey, and what we gonna do real quick, man? We gonna jump on this sponsors. We gotta pay these bills, man. Make sure right now, if you're watching, roast this. Make sure you share this broadcast right now with a friend, and caffeine will reward the person who shares this broadcast with ten thousand gold in your account. That's right, ten thousand gold will be in your account if you share this broadcast slash podcast right now make sure you follow every individual right now on the screen mine's is big bang lewis at ronnie jordan at comedian cp make sure y'all follow us right now yep. follow us right now and click the subscribe button make sure you sign up obviously most of you guys have an account but make sure you keep your account because roast me five will be here streaming live <laughs> on <Catholic laughs> march 30th that's right march 30th Season five, roast me the classroom edition. That's right, the classroom is not heads up. We going back to the classroom. Roast me season five, March thirty. Got a question for y'all, brothers. Y'all, you know y'all roast me classroom veteran. I've never been to classroom before. Have y'all ever seen anybody get mad enough to fight in the classroom? Have y'all ever had to cut the cameras when nigga somebody stood up or some kind of <laughs> they got roasted that bad? <laughs> Nah, no, nobody, no, nobody had to fight, but uh, Brendan Brody got it the worst. He didn't want it to air. We Poor fired Brody. his ass up so bad. He didn't want the episode to air. <laughs> Come What's on, why man. you do that though? Why you so? Why you missing it, nigga? Exactly. Brody's yeah. a great man. Look, Brody, Brody, this hey, the only time I ever went to detention, bro, was for fucking Brody, man, because niggas was just getting on him too hard. I just, I didn't, I didn't feel like it. And Brandon Lewis was like, "Fuck you doing? You ain't saying shit. Get your ass." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Brandon like a Bob. He's like a Bob battle. He's like a Bob battle. That's the day I got MVP too. This nigga yeah. knew that. He knew I was gonna get MVP that day. He said, "Oh, you they say it, say, get your ass in." I'm like, "Nigga, I never been in detention." Yeah, nigga. yeah. Be little, be little in there like this. Here, man, you understand me? <laughs> they forgot about the act music. I was, I was, the acting was, Uzi. Oh, box of cigarettes. Tomorrow. What happened? What they talk, what, they're what talking they about the acne Uzi still in the chat, CP. That, that acne Uzi still hit, apparently. Everyone oh, remembers that acne Uzi. Yeah, I mean, you know, hey, you know, sometimes, you know, you drop your reasonable doubt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> you know, hey, what can I say, what man? Shit, nigga. Hey, I, it hey, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's one of them. You be in the bank in line or some shit and see that. Ooh, shit. That nigga said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, hey, 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 bank teller. I know, uh, I know I'm just up here to deposit something. But look, watch this thing. Part young nigga, part shit. with an acne Ooh, Dean, boy. If you ever so kindly can do us a favor and yeah. this is the next topic. Next yeah. topic. We've been talking about music a lot. You know what I'm talking about? How it influenced your life. Like you said, Scarface was, you know, a song change your life. Missy Elliott, however. Has asked a question. Yeah, um, she, good. she does. I'm sorry, Missy. I see you, Missy. Yeah. Missy like Elliott asked, asked, what, like was the best "What was the best music? What was the best music era, and why?" Oh, what was goodness. the best music the era, best and why? Era. Uh, uh, for me, it's probably the '90s. The '90s, early 2000s was the best music era. Got a blue coochie. <laughs> Probably. It's probably, um, yeah. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? She's rich enough to go ahead and, and do the coochie too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it ain't, you know, like, I'll you got it. When you got a couple of dollars, you don't just do the head. You got to do the coochie too. Yeah. I feel like the best music era, I, 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 I got to give it to the 90s, but I don't know because I lived through the 2000s, the early 2000s, and even now. Uh -oh. oh, you live through them? You live through them? You, you ain't take no break in between the 90s and the 2000s? I ain't no break, my nigga. Okay. Oh, nigga. Hey, but look. You a hard-ass <laughs> nigga. Look, you ain't take no break. Hold on. Hold on. I feel like it. I feel like because Outkast and Goody Ma album 
they changed my life, and that was in the nineties, bro. So I gotta mm. go Outkast, Goody Mob. So I gotta go nineties, bro. And then, okay. and then Brandy, which is the best singer alive. I feel like Brandy, hands down, is the best singer what? ever. It's not the first time he said this. Um, it's not the first time he has said this. He has said it last time. He's he's standing by. Brandy is the best singer alive. <sighs> I'm not hating on Brandy, but is she the best singer alive? Is she? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go '90s too. I think um, for a couple of reasons, right? I feel like you know Biggie and Tupac being alive, being in the in in the music game, both dropping albums, both being you know controversial superstars, really kind of like if you look at like what Magic and Bird did for the NBA, how these niggas kind of like revitalized rap, and you know what I'm saying like I, I think about if Biggie was alive, he'd be at the Nets game, sitting courtside. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. Tupac could be fucking with Steph and them, you know what I'm saying? Out in, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like it is just, you know, like rap has changed so much, but I think that it kind of sparked like a new kind of like vibe, like Jay Z coming in, Nas coming in, like this is like you know, I mean, you know, just like in the NBA, you know how we, you know, of course, you know, hip hop was going on, but but you have these clumps of classes, and these classes is like they just changed the game, you know what I'm saying? Ninety six NBA draft changed the game. Man, 96 you know, was one of the best years ever. Yeah. <laughs> 96 was one of the best years on earth. Like the Impala drop, the George 11th drop. Say that, but that Impala drop. <laughs> nigga, right? Alan Iverson's shoes was fresh. Uh, like, it was a lot of shit going on. Boys to Men was hot. Like, it was so many black acts that was on top of pop charts and all kind of yeah. shit. Like, black people, it was, it was in style crazy, to be black. Man. So, but I like I like the late 90s, early 2000s, that, that Blueprint one. You know, era when Kanye kind of ushered in that new sound, and it was like refreshing. And you had Dipset going crazy. The whole Rockefeller era, man, that shit was like, I was outside. I was like really doing open mics and shit. So <laughs> niggas was in a comedy club uh, with big ass shirts on and shit. So it kind of, you kind of saw it going from backpacking, and it turned into the snap music era. Kind of went to that shit. So that early nineties, I mean, the, I mean, the early two thousands. I like that early, early two thousands. Yep. So 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 I got the nineties. CP got the nineties. Ronnie got the two thousand, the early two thousands. You gonna go? Yeah, because y'all, it's basically the nineties, like y'all said. Okay. But I just wanted okay. to make it different. Right. Basically, in ninety eight, back on, you know, what I'm late, saying late nineties, like, early two thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think it's part the big what you got, Ding? Ding, what you got? Ding, man, I I think I'm gonna go. I, I mean, I'm a ninety two baby, but I I listen to a lot of ninety eight, ninety nine. I get you know what I mean. Like that's really obvious when I start really remembering music and everything else like that. So. Of course, going back and listening to all the classics at that time, it had to be 98. Like, it's pretty much I'm right behind Ronnie on that. that is, Late that 90s, era, that, early 2000s. Lupe Fiasco was a big one for me as well. You know what I mean? That whole group of early 2000s was a big was a big thing for me. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. man. The R&B was going crazy, too. Like, True. their late True. 90s, early 2000s. Like, Usher yeah. kept dropping shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a bunch of groups. Remember BET, Uncut, all the R&B shit? Like, I don't think the was going wild. Man, that shit was crazy. All the yeah. video, it was a lot of male R&B groups. It was a bunch of, <laughs> it ain't no fucking R&B groups no more, is it? But I don't know. Division. So, 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 and money can be in a group, nigga. Money Ooh. being solo. So, so let me ask anyway, you a question. Let me ask you a question hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on, real quick okay, we, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We over here roast this guy, 90s, man. Right now in the comment section, tell us what's the best music era and who and why. Tell us right now in the comment The 90s. The 90s. Session right now. Boom. Drop it down low and make sure y'all follow each and every person on this screen. Big Bang Lewis at Comedian CP at Ronnie Jordan. Make sure y'all share this broadcast with a friend so you can wake up in the morning and y'all kind of have 10,000 gold from caffeine. That's right. They're giving out 10,000 gold to the person who shares this broadcast with a friend. And make sure you download the app. Tell a friend to download the app because Roastman Season 5 will air on caffeine March 30th. Go ahead, Dean. There we go. No, I was just saying it there in the chat saying it. Is there actual video footage of CP winning that MVP? Someone asked in the chat, so I just thought we'd bring it up. So we yeah, can bring yeah, it back yeah. in the next uh, I forgot what episode yeah. it was. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I just want to make sure that you know we got that footage. We can yeah, pull that up next screen. It's, not, it's documented. Cool. Cool. I want to make sure of that. All right. Uh, Somebody said that Drew Hill era was going crazy on this group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Hill, Drew Hill was up there. Oh, I think I got all the jazz jokes. <laughs>
right. See what, see what the next topic is. Oh. Oh man. Oh, the McDonald's. I almost got diarrhea looking at the picture. Goddamn, that's how. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> like, the, Mc, the McDonald's, the good old Mickey D, sued for nine hundred million dollars by an ice cream machine company. What that's lies. Nine hundred so million. So, so here go here go a quick breakdown. So allegedly, the ice cream maker of the machine, or the ice cream machine maker who sells the ice cream machines to McDonald's, is suing McDonald's for the inevitable of McDonald's always saying we can't serve ice cream because the ice cream machine is down. Yeah. Uh huh. And so obviously, so obviously, the ice cream machine maker is saying bullshit. You niggas is just lazy. Yeah. So you know what happened? It was probably some little asshole white dude. Like, hey, can I get a uh, two uh, vanilla cones, please? Yep. And it was like, uh, shape, shape, sorry, 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 ice cream machine broke. Really? Ice cream machine broke. Can you tell me the model number, please? <laughs> 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 that's interesting that it's broke because that's a brand new machine. This came out in 2022. Let me ask you a question real quick. My name's Jerry. Huh? Yeah. What's, ben up? What's up, Jerry? You good, my boy? No, no, I'm not good. Jerry from Ben and Jerry. Listen, <laughs> we're not fucking around with our machines yeah. anymore. But Jerry, we ain't got but then much mix left. We gotta have the both the mix. We only got one mix. The, the machine. What down, is your I'm name? Like... What is your name? What is huh? your name? Huh? You. I don't, I don't. I don't speak English. Don't you. Hello. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm gonna English. call you the Cornish hen built nigga. Listen, <laughs> the Cornish hen built motherfucker. <laughs> We don't play with our machines, and we're coming for your asses. Thank you very much. This is our fifth McDonald's tonight. Said the same thing. The name's Jerry from Ben and Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> yeah! Ben, hey, it's the, it's the Ben and Jerry. Ben, ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry. Jerry. Ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry. <laughs> oh, nuances. Man. CP and the nuances, guys. I feel like, I, hey, hey, what CP, hey, what CP just did, I feel like that was the truth. I feel like it was a white dude who ended up going to, like, let's say, got down to the McDonald's of Fulton Industrial. You go to the McDonald's oh. of Fulton and D, you know what I'm saying? He's been driving, trying to get to Alabama. He was like, you know what? I, I can go for an ice cream cone. I, let, me, let me stop off. He first of all, you, you, first, you got to. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Time out. Somebody in the comments said, Ronnie got his own machine at the house. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. Let me get y'all a cone. Got that. <laughs> Like if I came back with a full ice cream cone, he's yelling at his kids. That's, that's y'all motherfucking problem. So I don't understand shit. Get up there. <laughs> hey, dog, whoever said that, bro, you a funny motherfucker. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That's go funny. Ahead. The thing about CB. Great, a fat uh, joke. That was so great and clever. Uh, the thing about CB is that he, he can tell a joke off the cuff just like that, you know? That's what makes him a great comedian. Wow. Oh man! <laughs> hey, but I feel like, like this happened though, man. I feel like That's it was funny. a white dude who went to a bad neighborhood McDonald's. He got all of it. And shit, he he did he did just that. First of all, if you go to the McDonald's on Fourth Industrial, it is like you got to stand behind the two prostitutes in, in standing in the drive through because they don't got no car. They just standing there because they don't open. They just in the drive through ordering. Let me get a um fish fillet and two nuggets. <laughs> 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 two. That's how they were sweetie meals. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the grown <laughs> niggas who get a sweetie meal, nigga. That shit was a grown up happy meal. Hey, what was yeah. a sweetie meal? Nigga, I, I, it was all kind of shit, bro. I'm like, this bitch gonna be shitting like a motherfucker. That shit came with, that shit came with two jawbreakers. That shit came with jawbreakers, a pickle, an yeah. <laughs> old pickle. Yeah, welcome to McDonald's. It's a big man. It's a fish sandwich. You put them together with the nuggets oh. as the bun with some mustard. Like, what? <laughs> what kind of adventure from babysitting sandwich is this shit? You know what I'm saying? The sandwich got two Takis on it. Like, damn, this shit hot. It's spicy. It because I wanted, I wanted to try it. I always, I always wanted to try. I wanted to try that sweetie meal. I ain't gonna hold. You feel like an asshole? Like, let me get the uh, sweetie meal. Would cheese. you like that with four Big Macs and two fish I'll, sandwiches? I'll pull it up on the screen real quick so we can actually take a look at it. Because I honestly never ordered it. Did y'all order it? I never ordered it, but uh, I know he wanted to. I yeah. also, hey, I wanted to try that uh, the honey sauce. I wanted to try the honey sauce. Okay. The honey sauce. The honey sauce will hit, though. I ain't going to tell you how it is. The honey sauce will hit. That's it with him. You know, you know, calm your ass down. Look at this. All right, look. What is the hell? Put the top one off, put a fry layer with ketchup. Oh, no, I never had that. 
What is that? This ain't even everything. It's yeah. not everything. It's, it's not even everything. Thing. I'm trying to go find it's it. It's one where it's a fish sandwich, Big Mac, fish sandwich. It's some shit. I think it's like cabbage <laughs> on that bitch. <laughs> You got a surfer turf. It's like that right there is over five thousand calories. To be honest, that is over five thousand calories, or even six. It's like a, a Brussels sprout layer. Like, what the fuck is going? I fuck. Hey, I, I fuck. I fuck with them French fries in between that hamburger, though. I fuck yeah, that's a, that, you got to do that yourself, though. Like, what's to do? What if you? What if you? I'm what if you're you in that too long? Yeah, you're frapping it up two two hours in the window. I like, hey, you got this. You got a whole, now you got a potato salad sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that fried yeah, turned back into a whole potato with that damn bun. Nigga got a goddamn hash brown sandwich <laughs> in the middle of them damn hamburgers. That's still hey, nasty as hell. Two hash browns. Let me get two hash browns. Oh, Bilu oh, one one. Bilu, I'm gonna give me a little sweetie meal. I'm gonna give me a little sweetie meal. <laughs> No, I, 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 I wanted to try it, though. I, I wanted to try it, though. I, okay, to try. I, 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 ain't hold you up. I ain't gonna hold you up. That sauce was going crazy, though. I'm gonna tell you. There it is. You talking about, about the hottie sauce? The hottie sauce, bitch, you make when you eat, you be like, bitch, the, the fuck? This is, I can't have this. <laughs> hey, baby. Too much uh, hottie sauce. Yeah, that just that just sound like a fucking gender reveal menu. We got fish sandwich. Oh, le- <laughs> for the... <laughs> We got everybody. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Everybody you make yourself a sweetie meal. If you think it's a boy, do the French fries and the burger. If you think it's a girl, get you a fish mac. Get a big fish mac. This, this is killing me. I don't know why. You got. <laughs> Are you found turf? You found no. It's, a, it's just well, the idea that we're making a surf and turf a, out of this. It's hilarious. That is the highest yeah. shit. Her, they was in the in the McDonald's corporate office, high as hell. They must do like some dabs in that business. Like you know what, bro. Hey, Dave, I can't even see. How many, how many how many people in here? We got 500 right now, man. Better shout out okay, to Sarah. Hey, okay, 500. 500. 500. We, we see y'all. We see all 500 of y'all. Somebody said hey. surf and birth. Surf and birth, birth, and birth is so funny. God damn. Well, I'm going to see who that is. Shout out to, That's shout Rizzy. Out to, shout out to Rizzy. Right. Shout, shout out to Rizzy. Rizzy. Make sure I'm going to add 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 Rizzy. while we got hey hey somebody said b lewis beard look like he just want to see his kids man that's all (laughs) he trying man and nobody's hiring you know what i'm saying like this nigga hey all 500 right now man 500 account man drop a fire emoji in the comment section man let us know that you fucking with us man also man follow us right now on caffeine Big Bang Lewis is mine. At Ronnie Jordan is his. At Comedian CP. Make sure y'all follow our accounts right now. All 500 and counting. Make sure y'all follow us, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend to watch Roast This every Tuesday. Click the star right now. And uh, I think it might be the left corner or the right corner of your account. Click the star, man, so you can automatically get those notifications when we go live every Tuesday. That has been another it's episode. Dropping flames. It's dropping flames. It's dropping flames. Hold on. Before we get out, man. Let the people know what you got going on for this week, man. CP, let the people know, man. Hey, man. So, uh, I'm about to shoot. Keep your distance. Um, again, that's where I'm at. I'm in KF Studio. This is KF Studio. KF got this. Uh, Kev on stage. Shout out to Kev on stage. He, he got the wallpaper. Like, so listen, we got a nice package to lay grandma down real smooth. <laughs> we're going to do the, we're going to do the yellow pillows with the flowers. <laughs> What are we gonna do? We got praise dances that we can have do a serenade melody, and we gonna also have a dress prepared. So, and we have chicken wings in the basement, and we have macaroni and cheese. Which is fine. Oh, shit. Anyway, um, about to do keep your distance. Then, uh. Tomorrow, uh, Speak Easy Wednesdays is is just a small room. What it is is it's a place where comedians can come, and e- every comedian is guaranteed twenty minutes, right? So this is just about really working out um, in front of a crowd. It's four twenty friendly, you know, be wild, be whatever. It's just speak, fly you know, out, yeah. fly um, and uh, you know, but this is like uh, you know, there's no phones, there's no judgment. You know, this is where comedians can come to work out. And if you a fan awesome. of comedy and a fan of the process, no different than motherfuckers who show up 20 minutes before the NBA game and watch Steph shoot them threes. It's just kind of the same thing. 
This is late night. It's 11.30 to 2 a.m. Every Wednesday, you in L.A., you need to DM me to get on my list. It's a very, very small list. I think it's not even 50 people that's going to be allowed in, so you got to DM me to get on the list. It's 30 bucks, but this shit is lit. Uh, we did it last week. It was pretty cool. Then, of course, I'm hosting Crack em Up. Uh, so Crack em Up is going to be on Thursday. And then um, I got my show at uh, Los Globos next week uh, on Tuesday. And then, you know, next week I'm doing Crack em Up again. So, you know, I'm out here. And then, and then uh, I'm about to be in New York uh, doing some more filming. So I'm about to be back at the stand, back at all my Brooklyn spots. Shout out to all my Brooklyn niggas. And you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, yeah, man, we on deck. Shout out to CP. Hey, Ronnie Jordan, let the people know, man. I uh, appreciate y'all, man. Go watch my my, my one hour special just dropped on Epics. The Epics Network is called Unprotected Set Season Three. I'm on Episode Two. They gave me an hour, so go check that out. Uh, go to officialblessedaf.com. Appreciate y'all right. buying the merch, man. I got my comedy album out on all streaming platforms. Ronnie Jordan is Heavy AF. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. March 16th. I'm March 13th. I'm doing Keep Your Distance too. I'm doing the one uh, South by Southwest. So yeah, March 13th, South by Southwest. Kevin on stage. March 15th, I'm at Jackson State University in Alabama. March 16th, University of Tennessee, Martin. March 17th, Kennesaw State. April 6th, I'm going to be in NC State University in Raleigh. And uh, March 19th, I'm going to be in Houston at Curtain Call. So, man, y'all, and also check out Morning Culture, man. So I appreciate y'all for Shout having out me on Morning your platform. Culture, man. You already know I'm trying to be on there ASAP. Yeah, come on, man. Come on to the A, bro. We got you, man. Brandon Lewis. Go watch be Brandon Lewis. Lewis episode of Morning Culture, man. Last but not least, man, I'm your host, Brandon Lewis, man. I will be in Louisville, Kentucky. All my Louisville peeps, I will be in Louisville, Kentucky this Thursday through Saturday with my hilarious friend, Mr. Tony Baker. Five shows, one Thursday, two Friday, two Saturday, man. So pull up on me, man. Tell a friend, tell a friend to watch Roast This every Tuesday. Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Not specific, Pacific. 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Click the star to follow all shows. Make sure you follow all Dev. Make sure you follow Brandon Lewis, Big Bang Lewis, Comedian CP, Comedian Ronnie Jordan. is at Ronnie Jordan. Follow us on all platforms. And we are out. Hey, hey, hey be loose. First episode, guys. First episode. The B, they said that the B and B loose stand for blurry. <laughs> we out. That's what's up. Episode one of Roast Me. My thoughts. I, I roast this, my bad. My thoughts is that the podcast was really good. I really enjoyed it and everything else. CP is really awesome to be able to tell jokes on the fly. That's really, it showed his professionalism in telling jokes and everything. Telling jokes like that is not easy. You must be comfortable with your material and everything else. But thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.